It's rotted out. Jeez. Look. Oh man. This air filter ain't doing jack. Well guys, we're back here with our Scania. We think it might have some issues out of the burnouts. I see everybody's a little pissed off, but the other half of the crowd's kind of happy because this thing's turning out sweet. Our cab's slowly moving forward, but we've got our, all of our filters here from our friends over at these guys in Finland. That's where they're at. I think that's where this came from. Kimpeli, Kimple, Finland is where they're from. So we've got all kinds of filters in here. We're going to figure out where they go and get them all installed on the Scania here. If we're going to keep doing burnouts with this thing and all kinds of craziness. We're going to have to get rid of this stuff right here. The heat shield because that right there is going to cause a fire. And the last thing we want is for this thing to burn down completely, other than our tire fire we had just in the last video. So, no, not my skin. So, let's get the service on this thing. The lake here is going to crawl under there in a second and drain the oil. And uh, go from there. All right, so while Lake's figuring out how to drain the oil on this thing, we've got injectors coming for this thing from our friends over at in Finland. <laughs> so we're going to work on getting this engine all blowed off clean because around these injectors, there is a ton of stuff. We're about to turn up the horsepower. I think we need to get some of those new fancy stainless exhaust manifolds they make because this one is definitely leaking somewhere. You can hear it whenever we're running it. So it's going to look dirt in there. See that crap down in there? We get all that stuff blown out of here. All right, you ready? Close your eyes. All right, so looking at the first set of filters, I think this is a cabin air filter, I think. I'm not sure. We don't have air conditioner in here yet. I mean, that's one thing we do need to fix because it is blazing hot here in Florida. But for now, other filters, we got a, it says hydraulic filter. I'll have to figure out where that goes. I'm not sure. This is an air separator filter, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Coolant filter, I'm 99%. Yep, coolant filter. Fuel filter. Don't know where that goes. We're gonna figure it out though. And this is some kind of a gasket, gasket set for Scania oil separator. And this must be the air filter. You know, at this point, we should just freaking run that air filter right out, there, out to the sink so here, the turbo. Oh yeah. Lake, you figuring it out under there? Yeah, you brought me the half inch breaker bar. There you go. The air filter goes right here. Yeah, it goes in from the bottom. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Alright. Here's our new air filter here. Lake's under there trying to figure out how to drain the oil. Pink? What? Oh, there's more filters, oh dude. Oh my god. What is all this? I have no clue. We may I thought this was gonna be like an hour deal. This might be like a three hour deal. Dude, there's so many more filters in there. Oh my goodness. This says oil filter. How many filters are on this thing? For real. Holy cow. Unless they give you spares. I don't think so. Another oil filter. Oh, another oil filter. It's a, I don't know. Filter. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> this must be the oil, engine oil filter. Was, oh. Yeah, that's got to be an engine oil filter. Look how big that thing is. All right, I think we found the bottom of our filter box. <laughs> that's an air filter. I don't know, but watch it in case it gets over full, so it's overflowing. Big boy. Dude, that is not good. Oh my goodness. Slap your grandmama. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It feels kind of like, I think, it's just, I think it's just the oil hasn't been changed in so long with that. Listen. Oh. It's like ASMR oil <laughs> <Literally>. change. <laughs> Well, I guess you watch that. Make sure it don't overflow. Oh, that's oh, right. already done, ain't it? Yeah. It might be low on oil. Oh, no, that's a lot that came up. Well, I'll go clean this and you can stick that back on there. See if you can find the oil filter. And uh, I'll get it uh, Okay. So we found the engine oil filter right over here, which is crazy because it's like up high on the engine. So, uh, Lake, while I'm doing the oil filter, will you find a wrench to fit that? Or uh, I guess a socket will put a breaker bar on it. 
I'm gonna change the air dryer filter. It probably hasn't never been changed in 37,000 years. Dang it, breaking. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this stuff has not been changed in ever a long time. No way it's been changed since it's been here in the U.S. ever. Oh, it's coming off, though. Now if we can do this without making a big mess. For real. We'll be doing good, right? Yeah. How the heck does it come off there? Jeez. Ow! <laughs> it landed right on my finger. That thing is slapped full, boy. We probably should put some oil in this one first. Great. Well, before we put the new one on there, I'm gonna go get some engine oil. All right, so we got some extreme duty synthetic semi blend engine oil here 15w40 i'm sure someone's gonna say this ain't the right stuff but we're putting it in there anything's better than what was in it that is a fact argue with me if you want i'm always right all right lake's crawling back underneath there to put the drain plug back in we're gonna try to fit this filter in here without making a mess i'm smashing my finger breaking the fender aren't i yeah, it's a little bendy. Oh, oh, yep. You just did it. Well, I guess that's one thing out of the way. <laughs> All right, engine oil filter installed. We'll get this air dryer swapped out next, and I can see a coolant filter right underneath there in front of the engine. I think that's what that is. We'll get it off and see if that liquid starts draining out of it, and then we'll know. <laughs> <sighs> Where is the... There must be some kind of a filter underneath that thing, too. Oh, yeah. And there's got to be some kind of a filter inside that thing, maybe? And then there must be a filter for the transmission somewhere in the I think. I don't know. See, this thing has got, I think, a hydraulic kit on it for running hydraulics, but it's not hooked up anymore, I think. I don't know. Not to mention all the custom rubber. But if we go to pressure wash, all that stuff will come off. But. So our deal with this thing is we're going to get these injectors from these guys and uh, from Finland, and we're going to put them in here, do some stainless exhaust manifolds and a bigger turbo. What if we, instead of having the exhaust come out right there, it just came right out just like, whoa. Dude, that'd be gnarly. Just like straight out. Dude, that'd be sick. Right out the back of the turbo. Oh yeah. What about your wing? And a giant wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I think it'd be freaking sick. Oh yeah. Got that tight? I need the uh, breaker bar, please. Let's see about getting this air dryer filter done. This shouldn't have anything in it, it just kind of filters air. Yeah, hopefully we can get it off. Dang. Oh, that felt great. Mm. It looks different, so we can just have it change. Ow. That felt awesome. Well. That one might not get changed. No. I'll change my finger. <laughs> yeah. That ain't doing nothing. All right, there are pine needles all galore and down on this side of the tent. Look at that. Oh, got a bird nest down there. Get all that cleaned up. Look at the injection pump on this thing. It's like a huge pee pump. It's nuts. Ryan has no idea what that is. Yeah. You lost it. Quite sure what this is, but it's something else. Oh. Some kind of a filter. I don't know. It looks like it's got oil, so maybe it's another oil something or another. Dang. Huh. I don't know what.
what that is. We don't have anything that looks like that, do we? Comment down below. What the heck is this? Turbo it look. Monster. I don't know. It looks like something that spins around. It is. For turbo. Show us. No. See how like it's got like little j oil jets right there. Oh yeah. Spins, builds them. Or if there's a new O-ring. Some oil pressure for the turbo. So let's see some of the O-rings that we got sent to us. Is there a big one in that pack? Yeah, there's a green one. Is that it? Can you see it? No, that's not big enough for this. I don't know what that is, but we'll put it back together. About to do some research. Now that we've messed with it, it's going to start leaking. You watch. Oh, wait, dude. Yeah. This might be. I don't think What does it say that is on top? Gasket set for Scania oil separator. Maybe, I don't know. What are all the filters coming I don't know what this is for though. What is this for? Okay, so we figured out what this is. This is the oil separator. So we do have the kit here. So I'm assuming, I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm being completely upfront. That, that needs to come loose. So we'll find a pair of pliers, set that back down for a minute. This does go to this, so. Oh. oh no! Almost messed up. Down the black hole. So one big O-ring goes on here somewhere. Right. Put that right there. So that does go right there, and that one is in terrible shape. Look at that. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Rusty O ring off. One new one going on there. Okay, well, that's taken care of. Now there is an O ring right here. That looks in terrible shape. We need a pick, sir, and a pair of channel locks. All right, I'm learning as I go. My phone's ringing. Let's see if it's anybody important. Just, it's just Englishman Paul. Hello? Hey, do you have a title for this trailer? Yeah. What year is it? 22. Okay. Hi. You sell it? No, no, no. I just want to list it at some point. I'll tell you before then. I just didn't want to put it as a 23 or whatever if it was a 22 or whatever. All right. Bye. I sold old Paul a trailer. Oh. All right. So this thing comes apart. I think like this. People might have no idea what I'm doing. Something's probably gonna fall apart in here. We're gonna lose all these dang parts. That back right there. Kinda looks dangerous. The spring about to pop out. Oh, psh. Making a mess. All right, we gotta do this somewhere else. <laughs> Let's take this. Take this. Oh, hey, you're pouring it everywhere. <laughs> that was a mess. Really hot, really quick. Okay, ooh, this thing's nasty. Dude. This thing's disgusting. Okay, well, I guess we'll just turn our parts washer on here and start cleaning. Oh, look at all that. Oh, it's like goopy. <laughs> it's not even coming out of there. That ain't good. Oh, this must be the paper stuff that we saw. Oh. That's what that is. Makes sense. Ew, it's just oil buildup. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? That's nuts. All right, so our Scania oil separator here. Look at how nasty this thing is. Ooh. Just insane. I think we can get it all out at once. Pretty satisfying, though. This is oil sludge. Mm. 
Jesus, that is nuts. You know what it is now we fix this? This engine's gonna run so much better, <laughs> so much cleaner and happier. I think that's an o-ring yeah <laughs> somewhere in there is an o-ring look at this oh it's so gross oh. there's no way this thing's had a oil change in the last forever i think it's been so long looks new brand new boy all right so i figured out this thing coming apart even more That goes just like that. It's like a booger. <laughs> it's like a nasty uh. booger. <laughs> so guys, why are you hating so much on us doing a burnout with our skin? Sure. Comment. And this, everybody's like, oh, the truck's got history and all that. Like, it does, but it's so much fun. So much fun. All right, so this thing comes apart in a couple different places and stuff. Is this another O-ring or is that? That's some old nasty. All right, so we got the new O-ring right there on the outside. This canister goes back on there like that, I believe. Boom. Now see, it's got this right here. I think goes right there, but see, it didn't have that. We took it apart. This thing wasn't there. Hmm. So we're putting that on there, and then this is gonna go back on top. So it was missing that piece right there. Kind of now it's not. Oh. Thanks to our fellas and friends in Finland. All right. That's good to go. This new O-ring has gotta go in our little piece out there, our cap. We'll wash my hands up, we'll go back out there and get our oil separator from back okay. together. So, I believe this boy can just go back in there, just like that. And uh, I don't know where this other O-ring goes. We'll put the new one on there. Hope I didn't like miss putting it somewhere. Got this other piece here in my pocket. We'll place... There's no way this oil separator system has been serviced in a long time, like ever maybe. All right, so I think this may be a spare O-ring. We're gonna keep it in case we didn't put it in some <laughs> right spot, but get that thing put back on there we got our cap put back on there and we've got one oil separator in our skin yeah rebuilt boom this thing may breathe and run better oh. right off the rip do a better burnout facts <laughs> there we go all right we're gonna do lake jerry do the coolant filter no we're gonna do the coolant filter next Lake, I think, already replaced the transmission filter, which is way down underneath there on the bottom side. So we're looking up to see what kind of oil the transmission takes. 85140. 85140 gear oil. Really? Are you sure? Well, you know what? Scan gear. Okay. We've got 85140 gear oil up front, don't we? We'll probably should just throw a quart in it because that's about what we used. There's a... It looks like either a fill or a drain on the side, but it's halfway up, so I'm gonna say it's fill. I wonder if you just fill it up until it runs out of that. Well, the transmission, thankfully, is something we can do without the cab jacked up, so maybe we wait on that, because I don't think we lost that much. We don't plan on driving it yet, so. Comment down below, what oil goes in the transmission and where do we fill it? Send me an email if you can tell us where we do it at. It's all right. I think we're good up here on top of the engine for now. Let's find the fuel filters. <laughs> Got some kind of a Dang. separation doohickey. What you say? You're There's something right there too, like right next to where that trans filter is, on like along the frame rail. I don't know if it's a filter. There might be a filter there that this this one goes in. Unless this is the 
a power steering filter maybe. I think it's a fuel filter. I think there's a filter right here on the power steering. If it don't break too. Looks like it's trying to twist off, don't it? Jeez. Yeah. We can't afford to have that break. No. Be one of our where one of our filters go because it said that one of those was a hydraulic can you see me okay or is the sun blocking it i'm trying to keep your head in front of the sun that looks yummy <laughs> i think i found where one of the filters go like oh my goodness oh. yeah Ooh. Is it white? yeah the little tiny one because it's got water in it or something or moisture yeah. Watch out. this is that that new white oil oh it's terrible looking jeez we got any rags? We're just finding more and more going on with this thing. All right, guys, we got this old one out. Look at how this thing, no way it's ever been changed. Look at how much rust is in there. We've been hearing like the power steering pump whine like crazy lately. This is definitely the culprit right here. So we can get that out without damaging it. It's coming out slowly. Oh. There we go. All right. We're going to try to get this fluid sucked out of here because it's full of water, obviously. It's going to be really hard to circulate it, but um, we'll figure it out. Look at that. Just see where the filter's like packed in there, nasty and disgusting. Mm. It's terrible. That should work. We need some dump in there. Oh, you got some. I need another Grab that bucket. You need some milk. All right. See if we can get this thing pumped out. Pulling the freaking hose down. There we go. Ooh. Yum. Is that morning creamer? Milkshake, boy. <laughs> oh. We'll be here for a while doing this. All right, we pulled all this nasty oil out of there as much as possible. Oop. There we go. Take your milkshake elsewhere, sir. We're gonna set the new filter back down in there. If we have to, we'll find out what the part number is for this and just order more locally and keep monitoring it until we get this system completely clean. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's nasty. All right, I know we've probably got a new O-ring for this too. Let's go find it. So, no new O-ring. We got the cap clean. Oh, we probably should fill it up. We grab a... Use automatic transmission fluid. So they just grab some ATF. All right, Lake's doing that. We're gonna try to organize our mess right here a little bit. Throw this filter away. We need to drain the oil out. So we gotta use these pans to drain the check the coolant now. Let's put that right there. We'll try not to make a mess. Oh. No, this is a diesel filter. Diesel, not coolant. Cool. I thought it was coolant. This is diesel. Look at how rusty it is. And nasty, dude. This thing is gross. I guess we found the fuel filter. We found one of them, right? I think there only is one. I think there's one down there on the side of the frame. Are we sure this is the right one? Yeah, that's the only one. Are you sure? Why is it blue and white? Yeah, this one's high performance. Is it that one high performance too, Bruce? Yes. Yeah, just, make, some, dude. just make sure. 
I owned about 300 more horsepower. Ryan's like quality control around here. <clears throat> All right. Ow. <clears throat> All right, fuel filter installed. We still have to find the coolant filter. And we still need to change that air dryer filter. All right. Go ahead and fill her up full of oil while Lake is doing, oh. I wonder if that's a filter. No, that's not a filter. That's some kind of an ABS module. You sure? I think so. So, started to pull the air filter down. Look at this. Dude, no, you have no idea. There's not even an air filter in here, dude. It, there's one in here. Wait till you see. You can see all the way through it. Oh! God! <laughs> something ain't right. Yeah, something ain't right. <laughs> Holy cow. It's rotted out. Jeez. Look. Oh man. This air filter ain't doing jack. No. This thing's in rough shape. Good lord. That's bad. Oh, yeah. I like Nick got tractor going. Yep. Yeah. That one looks a lot better, don't it? This? A lot better. A lot cleaner. Alright. Shove this new air filter in there. They still gotta figure out where the rest of these filters go. There's like mystery mystery filters everywhere on this bird. You got it? I think so. You have to like it's gotta go in there first. I'm thinking. Let me get in that all dirty. Come on, dude. Well, Jeez. Hey, better than what was in there. Pull it. Oh, oh. Am I getting all over you? Sorry, I'll wait. <laughs> How's it taste, Lake? Look at these bushes. Blown the F out. <laughs> Shot, dude. Everywhere we turn, there's something wrong with this thing. But it runs so good. I mean, we think it runs good. We This thing may run like crap compared to other stuff. True. Got it or you need me to get it? Look at all the stuff coming out of the air filter box. Oh! I figured I'd just clean it out before I put it back in. some rust in there. The reason I'm ripping that out is I know we need a heat shield, but we don't need a fire. I've had one of these catch on fire before, one of my older trucks back in the day, from exhaust getting too hot. At this point, we're like stripping this thing down to be a race truck. <laughs> For real. Legit. The lighter the boss, the better. We should just cut the cab off, put a Peterbilt cab on it. Oh. Because people would cry. Yeah, oh yeah. All right. All right, Lake, you got to need me to help you. Are you still trying to clean all the crap out? Yeah, I'm trying to get this cleared out. Yeah, take the air blower. <laughs> Dang, son, what you got there? This company named Varla, Varla sent us a new scooter, dude. We get scooters and stuff sent to us all the time, but this one, the real deal, it's sketch. Dude, look at that thing. See ya. She gone. <laughs> Dang. Boy, it's cooking. Oh. Look at this guy multitasking, taking phone calls on a 40 mile an hour scooter. Got that suspension on there, shoot. Look at that. Oh.
this one doesn't, that one doesn't have this on the end of it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Dang, are you okay? <laughs> Other than that, they're the same. I'll get a razor blade. I don't know if that's going to work either. I guess go get one. We'll try to cut some of it off, see what happens. So, this air filter is not going to work because it's just that much too tall. So, Donaldson, thankfully we can get these here in the U.S., but the part number is right there where I ripped this piece off. <laughs> Great. So, for now, we'll leave this filter out here so they're not going to use it. I'm going to crawl underneath the back of the truck and see where else the rest of these filters go. Hopefully, we can find them. We'll have to get the air filter pulled on in another video or we're going to put it on there, I promise, maybe. Why are you following me around? Like, I can't help it. Should have aired the suspension up, boy. No, literally. You ain't running under there or not. Oh, no. Just like the forklift again. Yeah, I can't even fit under there. Well, I think we can at least start it up and air it up because the rest of the filters, there's nothing else on the end of them I can see. I don't think those maybe this maybe they sent us enough filters in case something that's equipped with but more. I think if anything else we can do it with the cab we're down. I don't see anything up here we need to do that requires the cab being open. Right? So Yeah, I follow the coolant lines all the way back there. One goes to the all right, well, the case and then they come up here and run the air filter. Maybe we can try to get that out. It tries to turn for like a split second. <clears throat> yeah, we're probably gonna mess up and not get this filter off, and it's gonna leak air. We're not gonna be able to run it. At least enough air. I feel like we should just leave this thing alone. Probably. The fact that it ran with all that crap in there. Once I just put a hole in it already, I think I already put a hole in it. Oh, shoot. The problem is I just can't get like a good grip on it. You want to Google how much oil this thing holds? So we got five gallons in a total. Is it moving or are you it starts to? Some back into it. Ouch. Then 
there, you can play a trumpet. Go look, go ask Nick for the hammer head of mine, like the hammer flathead will take the thing. All right, you guys see how dark it is out here. I'm gonna show you how long we've been working on this thing. I just got to turn some. Future reference, never touch one of these filters. Ever. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> that gold. At this point, it needs to be gold for how much work we just did to get to it. So, all right. Put all the water in there. See all the because this is like the air dryer, water separator, whatever. The air system. All right, one new O-ring going down on this mother. Mm -hmm. Trucker. Should I spit on it? Yeah, for good luck. <laughs> mm. I'm never taking this thing off. You know what I am going to do though? Tighten it down on there tight as heck for the poor soul so they can do what we, we just went through. We're at the, uh, you ever go to a car dealership, don't piss off the oil change mechanic because they will put red lock cut on your oil filter. Oh! Blake probably did that a few times and worked at the Dodge dealer. No, sure did it. Should have. <laughs> That's how you know it's tight! <laughs> We'll leave it in there for the next person to find. All right, we're going to close the cab on this boy. Part two will be in the next couple, couple days or tomorrow, whenever. Comment down below, guys. We need to find the other fuel filter. We need to find... Let's go Let's go review the filters we have left and see if you guys can help us find out where they go. Oh, sweet. All right, so we got a cabin air... Oh. we got a cabin air filter right there. we got another... Some kind of a hydraulic filter of some kind. What's wrong? I'll take it. I, I mean, does it not look good? Or here you go, cameraman. Yeah, Hold that's it. what I'm saying. There we go. We got some other little O-rings right here, which maybe go something to do with this filter, I'm assuming. That must be, this says hydraulic, some kind of a filter. There's a part number. Oil filter. So I'm not sure. Um, these couple O-rings. Coolant filter we still got to find. So these are what we got left. So, oh, no. Yeah, so those filters we got left. We're going to hit up the fellas that sent us the stuff and see if they can, uh, you okay? I just don't want to shiny in the eyes. And, uh, see if they can help us figure it out. But man, what a freaking job that air dryer was. Never again. Ever. Never, ever. And we got to find the new correct air filter. So, all in all, today we got an oil filter change, oil, and a fuel filter done. And a transmission filter. And that's it. What a wreck. But look at all the stuff we found. Oh, and the oil separator. We cleaned. We've gone through that fresh oil found an air filter that wasn't doing t diddly squat and nothing it's all right guys progress